my camera is acting weird so apologies if it's not focused on my face throughout the video because I don't know how to work it. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying Polish candy. I think it's candy, I guess we will find out. I have quite a few things, some look really nice, some look not so nice. There's not really much else to say so I'm just going to get into it. The first thing is a, oh my god, Gre Grzeski Gofri. Oh, it smells nice. It's basically a wafer with like chocolate and white cream in the middle. I don't know, it looks interesting. Um, that's weird. Very dry. And it didn't really have much flavour to it, so I'm gonna give that like a four out of ten. I don't, I don't like that. Next I have a drink and this is meant to be a cherry apple drink and I'm not really sure how to open it because it has like this weird ring pull thing. I'll pull out then up. Out. Right, I had to get my mum to open that for me because I'm weak. And the inside of the lid says we meet again which is kind of weird. It would probably be better if it was cold because this has been in my room for about two weeks. It just tastes like really watered down berry juice. But I'd give that a six out of 10, I'll be nice. Next thing, I have a Prince Polo Classic. Oh my God. It's all like, it's all smashed up and it all went on my floor. <laughs> nice. Thanks Poland, now I have a crummy floor. It's nice, it just says like um, a Kit Kat. I give that an 8 out of 10, but now I have chocolate all over my floor. Buy the brand E Weddle or Weedle or something. And it's the. Mm, look, I'm not gonna try that. Mm, look, hell, yeah. Basically, it's just got strawberries in it and it looks like some kind of cream. I'm not really sure. I like this. I like it a lot. It's basically just strawberry and cream and it tastes really, really good. I'll give us like a 9 out of 10. Next one's really big. Um, this is the, like the smallest packet that they had of it, but yeah, it's the Family Waffle. That was really, really dry. I didn't like that. I gave it like a 3 out of 10. It was just basically a plain bit of waffle. The next one I'm really not looking forward to. Tomato juice. It just smells like tomato soup. Cold tomato soup. Mm -mm. I actually feel sick from that. That goes like a 0 out of 10. Why would you drink that? I can still taste it. Let's move on to the next one. This is the Princessa Bar. And from the packaging, it looks like it has coconut in it. I like coconut, so this hopefully is nice. It's like wafer covered in coconut. This is what I'm talking about. Poland, you're doing it right. That gets a 10 out of 10. The next thing, it says milk chocolate bar with caramel filling. I'm not too keen on caramel, but we'll give it a go. It just tastes like a um, Cadbury bar with caramel in it. So um, next I have another version of it. It's by the same brand and everything, but it's got yellow on the inside. It says milk chocolate bar with Advocat flavor filling. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what was in it, but I didn't like it. So zero out of 10. Sorry, and I don't know if I rated the last one, but I'd give that like a 6 out of 10. Next, there's a Rozeski bar, and this is just the classic one. Just looks like another wafer, to be honest. It smells a bit weird. 
it's okay. I mean, the outside is like dark chocolate and it's like really strong, but it's edible. I give that like a, a six out of 10. Next, I have one more drink. It's another one of those little bottle things. This is apple mint. I'm looking forward to this one. And inside of the lid, it says kisses. Oh, it just tastes like a really sour apple. It's better than the other one though. It's not too bad actually. Bit of a weird aftertaste, but I'll give that like a seven out of 10. It's drinkable. I have three more things. Next, I have two of like the same, but in different flavors. So there's the classic and the coconut one. So first I will try the classic. Looks a bit weird. Really, really chewy, but it's nice. It's basically just like a layer of biscuit, then caramel and little biscuit balls on top covered in chocolate, eight out of 10. It would be a nine, but it's too chewy for my braces. Next is the coconut version. That's not as nice, but still good, so like seven out of 10. The last thing is the Mlekens nut. Oh God, yep. Just chocolate with nuts in really. My expectations are a bit too high for that one. But it was still good, so I'll give it like an eight out of 10. My room is now covered in chocolate. But I ain't complaining. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on Wednesday. That's nail polish, not dirt on my hand, by the way. I get quite a lot of questions about my music taste, so I thought I would just make a video on it. When I was about 14 or 15, that's when I really got into music and it became quite a big part of my life. People say that my voice is too monotone in my videos. I'm sorry, it's just the way that I speak. Sorry if I bore you. I try not to. I'm trying to work on it. Earlier, I went onto my iTunes and Spotify, put it on shuffle and picked out some of the songs that came up. I will link videos to the songs down below. This first song I really like, it's Can You Feel My Heart by Bring Me The Horizon. You probably know it, I think it's quite a popular song. Hit It by American Authors. It sounded really weird when I said 